As of today, 26 American embassy staffers in Cuba, one diplomat in China now are confirmed to have suffered what the U.S. government calls health attacks. Now a mother is speaking out for the very first time in this NBC News exclusive. Last year, Catherine Werner, a U.S. diplomat stationed in China, told her parents she was experiencing strange sounds and sensations in her apartment. Her health was declining rapidly. Just struggling and she's just a shell of what she was. Her mother, Laura Hughes, an Air Force veteran, was so alarmed, she quickly booked a flight to China. You notice when something's wrong with your children and there was something very wrong with Catherine. Laura tried replacing the apartment's air filters and buying imported food. Nothing helped. And then Laura says she started feeling it too. We heard a very high-pitched sound in Catherine's bedroom and we heard a very low pulsing sound in the living room. Our heads would pulse. Um, you would feel like you would want to regurgitate. Um, you could become instantly paralyzed, instantaneously uh, fatigued. Laura has also developed visual problems, including sensitivity to light, which is why she's wearing dark glasses today. It's similar to what U.S. diplomats in Cuba reported feeling in what the U.S. government now says were targeted health attacks. As mother and daughter struggled, Laura says their dogs also began acting strangely. They be shivering under the bed when we returned to the apartment. They would vomit blood. Um, they didn't want to go back into the apartment after long walks. And they would run down the hallway and stop just where the living room begins and just sit there. And their heads would move simultaneously. We were so scared, we didn't know what could they possibly be looking at? After three months, Laura, unable to tolerate it any longer, headed back to the U.S. Three weeks later, the State Department medevaced Catherine out of China. The doctors diagnosed Catherine with traumatic brain injury. Their findings were the same as they found for the U.S. diplomats from Cuba. Attorney Mark Zaid represents Catherine and many of the Havana diplomats affected. There are things that are identified in their MRIs and CAT scans as showing traumatic brain injury. That shouldn't be there for people who have never had concussions. The State Department brought in outside experts. Their findings? The victims appear to suffer from a new type of brain network disorder. Who or what caused it? A mystery. The United States government is still not sure who or what is responsible for those health attacks. Leaving Laura Hughes and so many others in the dark. I, too, have been diagnosed by the same doctors through the VA hospital in Philadelphia with traumatic brain injury. In total, 16 Americans posted in China were evacuated after reporting sounds or symptoms. But other than Catherine, the U.S. says none of them are considered confirmed cases. Some people have suggested that maybe it's all psychosomatic mass hysteria. Science doesn't lie. These scientists and these doctors and specialists have been working very hard and long on us. There is no way you can fake this. Have they told you or Catherine whether this is permanent damage? Yes, it looks like it. The NIH is now studying the syndrome, but Laura is calling on the State Department to do more. I do not believe that our military, our diplomats are safe because this this weapon system is creating havoc. And do you worry that this could happen to other diplomats in other countries? That's why I'm here. That is why I'm here. And Hughes is speaking out, she says, because her daughter and the other diplomats cannot without fear of losing their jobs. Many told NBC they fear the government is downplaying what happened. The State Department says it took quick and decisive action after confirming a case in China and is providing employees with the best medical care back here in the U.S. Well, you hear from the mother and daughter and it's so convincing and then you hear about the pets and you think to yourself, oh my gosh, so you wonder, like, what is causing this? What kind of weapon could they be using? They are still investigating, Hoda. The strange sounds initially pointed to a sonic weapon, but an FBI report this year ruled that out. Now, U.S. officials tell NBC News they are considering the possibility of an electromagnetic weapon, which could cause brain damage. Certainly, a lot more reporting we've got to do on this. My goodness. Oh, stay on it. When you think about her yeah. saying it's likely permanent, yeah. she's yeah. wearing those glasses because the light bothers her. And the other diplomats in the military out there. Yeah. yeah.
Andrea, thank you. And great reporting. Thank you.